Welcome to another Fisherd's Gaming Lounge Dust514 video. Uh, today I'm going to be attempting to get a dropship on top of one of these um, really tall towers within a skirmish match. And by doing so, you need an afterburner equipped, which I've just recently been able to use. Unfortunately, uh, I kind of failed there and lost my dropship and only landed on the edge of the building. But not all um, was a fail since I was able to get some decent sniping from this position. Uh, our enemy team was in the center of the map sniping us from the tower, so this gave me a perfect vantage to snipe them back and get rid of these bastards once and for all. Um, I even got a second spawn wave in here that I could pick off before they kind of figure out where the heck I was. So I'd seen a lot of guys in matches uh, get up to these really high points and I've used my dropship before to try and get up there but it was like impossible, I could never do it. So I was wondering what the hell are they doing differently? How are they getting up to these super tall towers? I want to be able to snipe from here too. Um, what do I need to do? Well, you need an afterburner and you need to be able to fly properly. I'm not a very good uh, dropship pilot, that's for sure, but I was successful in getting up here a couple times. Um, the first time here, obviously, I lost my ship, and uh, I did get a lot of good sniping in, um, but here you'll notice uh, I do get uh, found out and end up dying right away here. So here comes my second attempt to get a dropship landed up here. Ooh, yeah! Look at that! What a beautiful landing that was, or not. But anyways, I didn't destroy my drop dropship, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, so that's how you can get a dropship up here. You basically need just your basic Militia Viper dropship. Um, throw an afterburner on there, you will have to skill up to afterburners. But once you have that, then you can get up to this wonderful sniping vantage point and clean out the enemy team. 